Hello, I am Max and you're watching Cool Stuff in Weird Cars. And right next to me right now is the back end of my 94 Lexus LS400. You might notice a uh, bit of a problem right here. This light isn't working. These are just the taillights on right now. Um, but yeah, the taillight doesn't work. But it gets worse than that. Hold on just a second. So yeah, this thing has like no brake lights. It has one that worked as the last time I checked. I don't even know if that one works anymore. Uh, but today, let me get back up. Today, I'm going to be fixing that. And I'm going to be taking you through the process with me and also upgrading, not just fixing. So this thing's going to be fantastic to look at from behind when the lights are on. And so, let's get started. So in the trunk here, I have a bag from O'Reilly Auto Parts. And it has a few packages of these things. These are 1157, 2357, 2057 LED lights. Basically, the replacements for the bra uh, brake lights and tail lights on this car. And basically, I'm going to be using these LED lights to replace the factory incandescents. And it's going to look a whole lot better in the back. And of course, while doing this is incredibly easy to do, it also, I think, gives the car a little bit of a classier look because most luxury cars nowadays are coming with standard LED brake lights and tail lights and turn signals. Worry about the turn signals later. I'm not worried about those because they've all worked. Um, but the brake lights are usually LEDs on newer cars, and it just seems to give a bit of a modernized, classier look, at least in my opinion. And so first off, I guess we'll clean this thing out a little bit so I can actually have some room to work because we're gonna have to get in the trunk. So basically it's as simple as we have to pop off this black, black plastic piece right here. It just has some clips in it. Pop it out like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. And I gotta make sure not to lose the little clips, because that would be quite bad if I did. I already lost one. There it is right there. We keep those right in the center there. I'll put this plastic piece to the side. Now the interesting part is going to be these ones up top, because I have not replaced those yet. I've replaced the ones on the side, so I know exactly how to get to them and how to get them out. Um, but yeah, not the, not the ones in the trunk. So, you're just going to have to pull the, uh, the carpeting out here. And I believe we have two bolts that we have to take out. Three bolts, maybe. Before anything, I'm going to get a hair tie. Alright, my hair is situated. And now it's kind of time to show off something cool. So, there's a bunch of little bolts back here uh, by the brake light that are 10 millimeter bolts. And the cool thing is, is that my Lexus, you see right here, well, probably not, but that is a 10 millimeter wrench that was in the toolkit of the LS400. So it actually comes prepared for taking out these bolts, which is fantastic. Actually, yeah, I think there's two bolts. There's one down here on the bottom and there's one up top. Start using the wrong end of this because it comes with an 8mm on one side and a 10mm on the other. I don't know if, I don't think this piece really had anything to do with anything, but now it's out. Yeah, it's really sticky and gross in there. Gross. I don't like it. So the thing is, is that you somehow. Actually, I think I have to take those out too. I'm pretty sure you could dismantle this entire car with a 10mm wrench, honestly. It's pretty fantastic in that way. So that's out. Alright, now we get the pull on the brake light, which is actually super simple, as you can tell. It comes right off. It's kind of caught on something down here. That's probably a, just a clip. There we go. I don't think it's supposed to come out like that, but there we go. Now we have access to the entire brake light. And now, of course, actually installing the lights is actually super, super easy to do. So, you'll see we have three different uh, little plugs here for lights. Obviously, one's for the brake light, one's for this brake light, and the turn signal. So, you just have to take out the ones that are for the brake lights, which is just simply turning and pulling it out. 
This doesn't actually look burnt out to me. It's as simple as we take light bulbs out of here, try to figure out how to get them out. So we basically have the new light here, which you can see is interesting shaped compared to the lights that I put on my old Ranger that I had. That is not the way that goes. It goes like that, and we'll give it a test real quick. All right, so great news, I watched that back and it worked. So who knows why the other one wasn't working, but we now have an LED to put in there. It's weird, none of these look like really burnt out. But whatever, they're getting replaced anyways. It doesn't matter to me. Make sure you line these up correctly. You gotta have like a short side and a long side and another long side. There we go. All right, so we'll give this a good old test real quick. Just gonna mock this up here. Add another there real quick. And I'll also put this down so you can, because I think that this brake light's the one that works right there. So we can test the, uh, the brightness of them real quick. So fun fact, I'm a dummy. That's the light that works over there, not this one. So we'll do a brightness test when we get to that side, I guess. And so, of course, this side will be pretty much, well, it will be identical to the other side. I'll make sure and actually put this all back together real quick. Because I don't want my brake light to fall out as I'm driving down the road. The difference in brightness. Oops. I don't want to crush that. It's just plastic and cardboard, but I don't want to crush it still. Now you'll be able to see the difference between lights. All right, now it's time for the fun part, which is going to be replacing these two. I'm still not entirely sure how to do this one. Uh, I do believe we have to take the trunk liner out up here. Make sure it's just clipped in a few places up there. Both sides. Pull it this way. Maybe. Maybe not. very burnt out. So it's gonna go in the trash with the rest of them. Did you ever just look at something and you're like, man, I'm pretty stupid. So this is why I don't make how-to videos specifically. Uh, so as you can see, I have everything back up. I have not replaced the light on that side yet. 
Uh, so there's these little flaps here that pop down. And I realize that since I only have to use a screwdriver to take off that back piece to get to the light bulbs, I didn't have to take off this entire thing. So all I have to do is get the screwdriver, get under there, take the piece out, replace the bulb, put it back up, and I'm good. <sighs> I'm stupid. This. Look how easy this was to get that out of there. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. All right, so it's the moment of truth. Everything's installed. After my screw up, and also it's taking a lot longer than I expected because of various screw ups. But we'll, uh, we'll go ahead. so much for watching and I will see you next year because this will be the last video of the year. Thanks for watching.